Alright guys, what's going on? We got a, actually got some snow today. Uh, so we're going to try out the Echo Paddle again. And uh, we're going to kind of go through some of the comments from the last video. And uh, kind of reference kind of, you know, some concerns that people had. We'll talk about those for a second. Then we're going to uh, see how we do in this drive. -off. First, I want to see how deep this snow is. Three inches? So hopefully you guys could see that um, it was three inches and then a couple other spots it was four inches so we're just going to call it three and a half four inches somewhere around there um, i know to a lot of people that's not a lot of snow here that's a lot of snow so we probably haven't had this much snow in a few years um, and, it, and it's actually still snowing so we might get uh, might get up to four and a half maybe five hell i don't know but uh, anyway, this is definitely a lot thicker than what we tried it on last time. So we'll see how it does. Okay, so real quick, I kind of want to go through some of the, the concerns, the comments from the last video and kind of address some of those. Some of them I thought were uh, legitimate. Some I thought were just kind of, okay, whatever. So one comment I got a lot was uh, awesome tool, but too heavy to use all day for commercial snow removal. So that comment I would I would pretty much agree with. Um, I thought after a little while, I kind of got used to the weight um, and it didn't really bother me that long, but I'm not doing big commercial drive, or not driveways, but uh, sidewalks and things like that. So, um, so but I did, I did actually mention in the video that it is a heavy, heavy piece of equipment. So it just kind of is what it is. Um, another comment was uh, shovel would be way faster. I 100% disagree. Uh, this, you know, in the, in the last video, it took me like 10 minutes of driveway. So uh, not, not, not that big a deal. So the comment I got a lot was from guys, which I, I assume they're, they, they live in the north, the northeast, they get, you know, 12, 12 inches of snow, two feet of snow, that type of stuff. And the comment I got a lot was, uh, I'd like to see how that thing does in a foot of snow or 18 inches of snow. And I'm like, you know, I mean, we just don't get that around here. But at the same time, I just don't see a whole lot of guys shoveling 18 inches of snow. To say this thing is going to, uh, is the be all end all, is now not what I was trying to say. I just, I just, I actually thought it was kind of cool. I thought it was a lot easier to shovel, especially for a bigger guy. Um, you know, the weight didn't really bother me a whole lot, but uh, but I could see after time how it might be able to uh, kind of wear your shoulders out and, and things like that. Um, to me, it was just a heck of a lot easier than shoveling. Shoveling, I would have been huffing, puffing, and you know, this it's definitely a little bit of a workout, but definitely not like shoveling. So, and also one, one thing I kind of want to make clear is this isn't like replacing a plow. This isn't replacing anything um, other than probably a shovel. So, and you know, commercial guys, you guys got way better equipment than this. So this isn't even for commercial guys in my opinion. Um, you guys have uh, big snow blowers, things like that. I just thought it was kind of cool. So anyway, uh, with that being said, we're gonna test it out in what I consider is a lot of snow. To you guys, not so much. Three and a half, four inches. Let's test it out.
Okay, so we just got this little bit done so far. And I'm a man that can admit when he's wrong. Just go buy a damn snowblower. But I also gotta finish what I started, so I'm gonna finish it. At least I'm getting a workout. So I got a little bit left to do. Okay, so. I'm definitely a man that can admit when he's wrong. And I was dead wrong about this tool. And you guys, most of you guys were right. Uh, yeah, no, that doesn't, uh, anything over an inch or two, I don't think it's gonna do, do a whole lot of good. You're better off just going by a snowblower. That's all I can say. I did get a workout in though. I got my workout in, I'm sweating. I got sweat dripping from my my beanie, but, but yeah, I was dead wrong. Dead wrong. I have no use for that thing anymore. So, happy 2021. All right guys, so that was definitely a failed experiment. And I'm definitely glad we got a little bit more snow to try it out. Um, yeah, you know, when the first time I used it, 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 did, it did fine, it did well, but I, I will admit there wasn't a whole lot of snow there. Um, and the problem I had with this one, as you can probably tell in the video, was, um, you know, the faster I went, the more it kind of spit it over the top, and then you're just going over it two or three different times. Um, so, yeah, I don't know why you would ever use one. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm, uh, I, I can admit when I'm wrong, I was definitely dead wrong on this one. Uh, so, uh. So yeah, I think uh, I think I'll be getting a snowblower in the future, trying one of those out. So, <laughs> oh man, what a, what a way to start off 2021 with a uh, with a little bit of crow eating, a little bit of eating some crow. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I was wrong, dead wrong. Whatever. See y'all later.